Homeownership in Minnesota is extremely important because it provides a foundation to people, families, couples, and it gives them you know, a place to put a stake in the ground. As a builder or as a realtor, you're that emotional help for them when they buy that house. We get to see that smile in their face when they walk through that door, whether it's new construction or a home that's already there, to them, it's their new home. There's so many buyers looking that there, it is just an increased demand, so prices are going up. Um, people are purchasing higher, they are going above asking. Um, so if it, it's, it's listed, it goes, it sells very quickly. And our entry price point on new construction is at an all-time high. Therefore, what happens is people that do want to purchase homes aren't given that opportunity because there's not enough inventory on the market, or secondly, because the entry to purchase their first home is too high. There's so many things that go on when it comes to buying a house, you know, adding more cost to buying a house or purchasing a house or building a house, you know, it just makes less and less people able to afford it. We have a, a large issue in the industry right now with cost structure that continues to keep climbing, whether it be through suppliers, lack of lumber, municipalities overcharging uh, for things that they shouldn't. And what happens is all of those taxes or increases get passed on to the consumer, which minimizes or reduces the opportunity for people to purchase homes. And adding more costs to the actual transaction or the building costs or whatever that might be, um, I think it's really important to understand that we don't, we don't need that in this market because it causes people to have to pay more or a barrier to entry the housing market. The challenge of building homes at at a, a lower price point and trying to get it reduced under the average median price in the Twin Cities market, uh, it's, it's a difficult task because you can only engineer to some extent level, right? When we see the cost structure of land on top of, you know, I'll call it operating fees or legislative fees that come from municipalities on top of lack of supply that's starting to really impact the market. It just makes it really difficult. What someone sees in a, as a home and what they expect from a home come in all different prices, you know? And you look at a price where I'm from in Northern Minnesota, you can get a $150,000 house and it is a very nice home in our market. You know, $150,000 in the Metro market, you might not even get a lot. You might not even get water and sewer for that. It's really important for the people that can help impact uh, legislation in a way that we can provide them education and real life experiences and we can bring forth knowledge that they might not have because they don't participate in our industry. So bringing the, bringing the news or bringing the awareness uh, to the great group of people that we have that are governing the state of Minnesota. To people, it's their home. And, and I think that's what we have to tell people is that it doesn't matter the price range, it's still their home, it's where they bring their family, it's where they make memories. And those price ranges don't matter, but it's very important to have all those price ranges because everyone deserves to own a home.